Periscope, it is Zakia. Um, so I overslept a little bit and we are getting set up for our vending event and I don't have my tablecloth. So what I'm doing is I am actually using this glitter paper as the backdrop in the background. I'll turn the camera around, but I figured I'll be able to use this video um, in live soap school to help my students in figuring out how to set up for vending events. If you guys are brand new to me, you've never been here before. My name is Zakia of naturalsoapbyzakia.com and I typically make all of my products live here on Periscope. Got a lot of bots. I don't know what that is, but thank you for helping me with the um, with the character count, the comment count. So that's annoying. Hold on, let me help you because I now you're blocked. You're annoying at that point. <laughs> You're very annoying at that point. Hello there. So what we're doing, guys, because I don't have the tablecloth, because, you know, that's just how I messed up this morning. Do you have abs? I think everybody in the world has abs. That's a part of our biology, I believe. I could be mistaken, but, you know. So what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm trying to find colors that are similar they don't necessarily need to match my color scheme, um, but they will help in adding a little bit of dimension and character to the soap that I'm going to put on top of. Can you do a live for vending tips? My first one will be this summer. Um, sure, absolutely. Um, the best thing I can tell you guys when you are setting up for vending events is to try and figure out what kind of uh, population is going to be at the vending events because not all vending events are created equal and a lot of times it's mainly for getting the person that is um, going to benefit from it like the person that's actually running the even vending event is the one that's going to benefit and not necessarily the vendor but I will certainly do a vending event like that um, this vending event for me has two main purposes one of them being, of course, to sell natural soap by Zakia. But because it's local, and let me pull this bin over here. Because this is the stuff that I use for setting up my table. Because it's local, it's also going to help me to promote the local soap making classes. You can get like little vases like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then you can put like little colors in there. And that's just going to add a little bit of dimension to your table. And so I just put that there. And it's kind of just decoration for the table. Hey there, Zebra, how are you? All right. And then this here, as you can see, I am going with a pink and black color scheme for today because there will be a lot of kids here. And so it's definitely um, going to grab their eye. I'll show you the front once we have it all set up. Why do I do this? because people are bathing with terrible, terrible, terrible ingredients. And by me creating handcrafted natural products, it's much better for their skin and all of that good stuff. I also have these plates because that is a way to display the products as well. So instead of having everything like stacked on top of each other, you're creating dimension and character and things to kind of have discussions about at your table. So the first thing I do is I try and get everything out. Um, that's okay. Thank you for trying. Um, I try and get everything out so that I can see what I have. Um, usually, if I know the amount of space, yes, it's about promoting herself. That too. Absolutely. Because if you don't promote yourself, nobody else is going to do it for you. I promise you that. I absolutely promise you that. Oh my God, there's a spider on my phone. There is a spider on my phone. And then I always put the best selling products right here in the middle. It's kind of like on a cake pan. So I'll put that there. And then we have one more of these. So these are the square cubes. Very true, good morning. So thank you all for tapping the screen. If you are brand new to me, my name is Zakia of Natural Soap by Zakia. Dot com and livesoapschool.com where I make my own handcrafted natural products. 
I typically will do that live right here on Periscope as well as Instagram as well as Facebook and a little bit of dibbling and dabbling in YouTube these days. Um, and so what you're seeing me do is set up this table and these are risers guys you have seen these before and what it does is it allows me to put my soap up so that they're on different levels again you're trying to create um, different places for the eye to go but not too overwhelming so what I do is I use these and I will highlight the different soaps so we have and again this is me trying to compensate for not having a tablecloth um, you always want to have a tablecloth, but you know, sometimes when you're rushing in the morning, it just doesn't work out the way you need it to work out. I also have another table that you guys are sitting on and that one is where I'm going to check people out with their orders. So all of the products can be here and then we can go over to this table in order to actually make payment and all of that. Now, we also have my books. Of course, we will be promoting my books. Where is, and for my books, I put them on this little clear shelf like this. You guys have seen this on the live broadcast. It's not just a prop, it's actually something that I use for holding my products. And so what I do is I sit that like that. Let me grab a couple of books. Where are your daughters, your helpers? Nyla just woke up and she's going to bring Paige in about 15 to 25 minutes. And then I take the books right here. In case you guys are wondering, I am the author of the new Soap Makers Cookbook, Ingredients for Success. That spider really wants whatever is there. And then I put it nicely in here so you can see that. Where do you get a lot of your holders? Goodwill, Goodwill Hunting. I do not spend a lot of money um, for it because it gives me a chance to kind of express my creativity. I can change the color scheme whenever I want. Um, because as you can see, because this is clear, what I do is I then, OMG, I'm going today. Um, because this is clear, I can change this color at any time. If I wanted to do a green color scheme, I'll just get green inserts. So that's how I do that part. Then we also have my other book. Oh, I have a ton of these. I don't have as many of my new book. I only have five of these that are left. This is my other book, which is the new Soap Makers Cookbook, Making Cold Processed Soap from Scratch. This is available on Amazon, as well as my website, livesoapschool.com, as well as my naturalsoapbyzakia.com. So if you're interested in learning how to make soap, this is a great reference guide for getting you started without all the fluff. So this will be sitting there. So if you're not necessarily interested in product, but you're interested in actually learning how to make your own, it has a little soap come on there. You can get the book. All right, so we have that one. Uh-oh, don't you fall. So this is how that will be set up. And you notice how everything is strategically on top of the glitter paper that I have put down. And that is so the paper does not go flying. See, this girl has a little bit of a brain up there. It's beautiful. It's actually not windy at all. It's not, well, I mean, there's like a little bit of a breeze going. My class will be paid by 12 p.m. your time. Drea, I am very excited to have you, my dear. Um, we are adding additional classes. So let me tell you guys about Live Soap School. I teach you guys how to make soap from scratch with all the ingredients, but I don't stop there. I make sure that you are able to formulate your own recipes so that you are not beholden to Google another book or whatever you can formulate them based on what it is that you want to create out of it if you're interested in taking a class on making soap you can take it from anywhere in the world by going to class.livesoapschool.com and now here comes the fun part where I actually will set the soap up in the various products so I think you're awesome for typing that in I think you're awesome for typing that in um, and I do have one giveaway bag that I give whenever you go to a vending event you should give something to the sponsors for allowing you to vend there so this just has lavender tranquility in there 
um, a body butter that um, espresso, that exfoliating espresso sugar scrub that we made last night. It also has a foot scrub or a foot soak. And then it also has my business card. So I'm not just somebody that's coming to take, 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 but also thanking them for allowing me to vend here. So I'll be giving that to the show sponsors. If you have shows, you should always, always, always thank them. Even if it's just a card, you would be surprised how many people don't show a little bit of gratitude to the vendors that they go to. Okay, so I need to get another one of these guys because I am now going back and forth. This was so heavy. This was so heavy to bring in. I now am swapping this out between classes and the actual um, soap making events. They let you set up for free. No, there is a vending fee, but that's what I was saying about the vending workshop or the vending live stream that I'm going to do. There's a little bit of analysis you have to do based on the cost that they're going to charge you, the expected participants. I am at the Yaden Fairground um in Yaden, pennsylvania i'll be posting it on natural soap by Zakia so people can come out and get something physically all right so this is how i travel with my products guys so all and i have an inventory i know exactly how much i am starting with with every single item that is in here so what I do, I got to plug you guys in. Always bring power with you as well. Always bring power. So let me bring you guys to the front. So as you can see, if I flip you that way. So far, that is what we've got. So this will, number one, no matter where you're standing, you'll be able to see that I have soap. And as you get closer, it's by Zakia. Where can you find this top? I actually permanently borrowed it from my mother. So I can't tell you for sure. Um, the stage is going to be right there. So as you can see, I'm very, very close. And then the dignitaries are going to be there. Um, community leaders are going to be there. And then there's other stuff there. And then voting stuff over here. And then they're going to be setting up bounce houses and whatnot. So I'm right in the center of where people are going to be walking. I'm also right next to the water pitcher thing I'm a jigger. So as people are getting their water, hey, come check out this soap, guys. All right, so um, you should move lots of product today. Is the girl, they will be here in a minute. And also I've even customized my bags with a little sticker. This was a tip that I got from a student in live soap school actually where it says that you can also shop online and it gives them my link to my website as well as the fact that we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and then my handle. So we have that. And then for my business cards, I have this little tree. Good idea, looks good. Yeah, and then when people say, ooh, can I have a bag? Oh, you can definitely have a bag. It comes with every purchase. See what I'm saying? I will check it out. My wife loves that stuff. You have some cool stuff. So with this, it's like a tree. And what you do is you just put your business cards all over there. So again, it's natural, right? The whole, you just continue whatever your theme is throughout everything that you are using for your products. And my business card matches the front logo that you just saw there. And then on the back, there's actually a QR code that will take them specifically to a, um, a special page that I have set up. I'm gonna to have to go to the Goodwill. It's a special page for them where if they click or they take a picture of this, they will go to a special page that has special pricing for anything that I sell out of today. So that's a way where you can kind of recuperate your customers and all of that, and then also get them on the mailing list as well. So then I just, fill this up and then as people take them I just add new cards so instead of just kind of saying here take my card it's kind of like oh what's that I bet you oh my gosh yes if you have not recognized I use my brain quite a bit I know you meant another way but that's how you address that
Um, I don't know if I have every angle covered. It comes from consistently like, like trying it out. Wow, Zakia is professional. I'm a professional. That is why I'm a certified soap maker. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, I try and create what I would want if someone were, if I were to go to their booth. So I don't have to ask a lot of questions aside from the questions on the products. So you see that? That's going to be on the table. And I'll put that right here in the front. And I'll pan around so you guys can see. I think you're constantly striving to, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I have all of the tester bars up here. Remember however you use your now see i was trying to come back and be nice to you but now looks like a really great woman impressive i guess that's what they said so the ones we don't want people touching every single thing so what i do is i always have a bar that they can feel they can smell and do all of that and then the other bars that are for sale they know that they've gotten a clean bar of soap so all of the bars that are out here today and I don't bring a whole lot. Miami, I don't know what that means. So this is the Poetically Peppermint. I open this while I'm here. If I didn't already have one, open. And it says, free smells for everybody. Um, and then this one is the Cucumber Melon. I've never really opened my own soap before. <laughs> Normally, I just don't do it. Um, this one is the charcoal and tea tree. I like to have the taller bars at the top and then the shorter bars. Um, my bars range in price from nine to $11. You can go on my website today and get some and then of course i have a sample of the activated charcoal see this one it serves multiple purposes guys because oh i think they're getting started it serves multiple purposes because this is a smaller bar but it also has a really nice design on there it has a really nice design so that's the activated charcoal and kale and clay and then of course we have our beard butter we made this one Free smells for everybody. Hey there, Yate, how are you? Um, and then they also can sample the Mango Tango Foaming Whipped Soup. And so for these, what I, up, oh, my card holder fell down. Boom. It is windy. No, that's not mine. All right, we might have to come up with another solution for that. It's a little more windy than I thought. Um, I have the little popsicle sticks so that everybody's not sticking their finger in the stuff, but the popsicle sticks will help that. Hey, good looking. Hey, Mr. Round of Applause, how are you? All right, and now what I do is I start setting up the actual products that are for sale on the other side. And then of course we have stuff's blowing but it's not i mean my hair is blowing um the exfoliating sugar scrub that we made last night somebody asked about how i package it so i do shrink wrap it after it is labeled so this is the one that you guys watched me make yesterday here on periscope so this one here well i should have had one that was open yeah this one yeah so one that i didn't seal they'll be able to try it out look at that that is the consistency of it. And those brown drops that you're seeing in there, guys, that's the actual coffee grounds. And the smell is going to knock them off their sock. It's like a vanilla and a caffeine blended together. All right, so that's that. I do have additional business cards in case we run out. And then I kind of just keep these additional sticks because for some reason people walk away with the sticks. I just keep those underneath. Oh, the chamomile tea. I knew I had more soap. It's not coming off. Mm -hmm. 
and here's what the chamomile tea one looks like. And I'll show you the front of the table in just one second. And now it's time to unpack the remainder of the products. Okay, you guys can see that. All right, so I go from left to right with what is on the other side. So on the other side, we have lavender tranquility. Then we have the peppermint. And so these, Zakia, are you going to teach foaming whip soap in live soap school? Yes. Where are you? I am at the Yaden Flag Day. It's an annual session or celebration. Um, the gentleman who's from Yaden actually founded Flag Day. So tonight there's going to be some incredible fireworks that, of course, I will live stream for you all um, and all of that. And then here's the activated charcoal and tea tree. So what we do, that's those. Um, then there is chamomile tea. And then there is cucumber melon. Then there is activated charcoal. And you see how I know exactly where to go in here? That's because I don't have to try and memorize where everything is. I will be keeping my eye on Instagram because I know you're gonna post some good stuff. Yes. Yes, I have some awesome plans for Instagram. I actually want to keep the all natural ones kind of together. Hold on, and then we need the triple butter blend. Of course we need the triple butter blend. Triple butter blend is going to also go in the middle of the table because that is a bestseller. And that's going to be one that I'm going to probably reference quite a bit today. So we have our little platter in the middle. And what other one, guys? We need one more that we can put in the middle. I guess chamomile tea because that one is all natural as well. Well, I need something with color. Um, lavender tranquility. What would I name that to search for that online? Tent? I don't have my car here, but there's a box that it comes in. I can also check with my mom and I'll tweet it out as soon as I have it. Um, but it's not a tent, but everybody has them all, if, especially if you're going to be vending in the summertime, you will kill yourself if you don't have, like, the sun does blaze wherever, well, depending on where you are, I shouldn't say that. Then the next thing that we need are the bath treats. I put those on a separate tray. So we have easy up pop up thank you um then we have the foaming whip soap it comes in three different flavors <laughs> i'm saying flavors like it's food it comes in banana split it comes in mango tango and it also comes in cucumber melon i love seeing people's entrepreneurial ideas there's always something I didn't think of. Thank you for sharing on Facebook and Twitter. All of you guys that have been tapping the screen nonstop, you know I have to thank you as well. So thank you. And then we need our body butters. Now I have to put the body butters somewhere where they're not going to be in direct sunlight. My issue is determining how much to make for vending events. And it's sometimes hit or miss. That's the one thing that we can't control, unfortunately. On a scale of one to 10, how tight would you say you are? Um, I'm really, really quick at that finger right there. I will give you 4,000 hearts. Smoke weed every day. Thank you. Is that your name? I thought about, um, what's his name? Snoop Dogg when I read that just now. And then I put my bags right under here. 
and then I'll put something on top of it so they don't fly away lol yes I often wonder what revenue to expect on an average day. It really depends on the crowd. And that also goes back to what I was saying about um, doing an analysis of the vending event. Like how experienced is the person that is putting that event on? What has been their previous um, revenue generation or the number of people that have showed up? What's the population like that show, that shows up for something like that? So once you know those things, you can kind of gauge, but it's it's really hit or miss sometimes. And now what I'll do, I'll put these books right on the top. So as people buy them, I can always refill them. Then I also have like this, I don't know what this is called. Did I bring my scissors? Well, I didn't bring my scissors. So I may not be able to use this one, guys. Tool, that's what it's called, tool. Well, I'm not, oh, I did. And then what I do is I decorate all around it. What about payment? Can you accept Interact and credit when at fair? Yes, there's a weekly market near me, always crowded. I sell healthy and natural dog treats. Ooh, and like pet lovers, they love their pets. So they will buy things that are handmade, handcrafted for sure. So then I just take this and I cut it. And so I take a piece, put it there, and then on the inside of there, I'm going to put the body butters. Hi, how are you? I'm Zakia. Um, I'm the creator of all of this. I do it all handmade. So it's all 100% vegan ingredients, natural products. And so I'm just setting up now. Do you have any questions? Have you ever used natural soap before? I was actually going to make, I'm um, trying to uh, make some soap during, uh -huh. um, yeah. a couple of months ago, I was actually talking to my husband about making some soap. He was like, you have to get all this stuff just to make some soap. Don't you believe it. I actually um, created live soap school as well. So I have a soap making school oh, really? where you can actually learn how to make soap. I'm looking for the cards. And we have a local workshop that's actually coming up tomorrow for okay. cold process soap making. Okay. And you learn the entire process, the supplies you need to get started. Because if you go by what you see on the internet, there's probably a million and one things that you don't need. Okay. It's really a smaller scale to get started. But then if you want to grow into a business, I teach you how to do that as well. Okay. Yeah, this I do, but my tree keeps falling. <laughs> and we are running a special for people who register by June the 15th. Um, there's going, there's a code. Let me find it. I missed it. Oh, here it is. This gives you more information about live soap school here. But as you can see, um, we do have this coupon code. There is a coupon code where you can actually save 10% off any of the courses. Okay. Okay. So that's the information on that. Okay. I have flyers of my own, so I've, I've, um, I've created a, um, like an adult coloring book. Nice. And, um, Did I'm you self-publish it? I'm going to, yeah, it's self-published. Nice. And I'm going to be um, um, selling it online and everything, but I haven't, like, launched it yet, so I haven't, like, put, um, put it out there yet. Okay. But, yeah. Get in touch with me, because um, I've had quite a bit of an experience with online businesses and launching and websites and all of that. Okay. So I might be able to help you either way. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so we got some early folks, guys. Sorry, the, um, the screen kind of blinked out on me. So then I take these products. Nice, right? Okay. So then I take each one and I kind of line them up behind here so that I can easily grab them. And then this is the cucumber melon. 
you're so nice willing to help people trying to get started too because not many people helped me i had a few people that was a great encounter yeah and that's the nice thing you get to talk to people and find out you know what it is because not everybody needs soap but everybody needs something um so being very well-rounded helps quite a bit so then i put the sugar scrub right here and then we come here and then Sorry um, for leaning right over you guys. That's the banana split. I really admire your focus and dedication. Um, and you know what happened, guys? I took a look at how much I give to companies. Lean right over. Oh, God. Um, how much I give to other companies. Like I was one of those people, um, any employer that I worked for, I would give them like 120% of my effort. And I said, well, what if I just took 20, that extra 20% that I'm giving to another company and focused it on something for me? Um, and it really, really helped for me to look at it that way. And many of you do that. Like, you go into work, even when you leave, you're thinking about it. You know? And then here. Thank you for those super hearts. Thank you for those super hearts. You know what? I only have one of the mango tangos, so I'm probably going to get rid of that sampler there. Um, yep. All right. So we are just about done with the products. Hold on, Uncle Jesse, because you don't know, but you actually have I don't know what you guys are talking about. See, this is the only thing about having your location on when you broadcast because you get some strange folks in. You get some strange folks trying to do some strange things, say some weird, weird, weird stuff. And then we have that there. Boom. Thank you for blocking that joker. And then we also have the milk baths that are available. And of course, I don't know how many of you are Black Panther fans, but it's called Coconut Milk Bath Vibranium. Willing to pay $10? Oh, some people. Sorry guys, I gotta finish because people are starting to come and I kind of talk too much and I still haven't set up the payment system over here. It's all the product. And this stays open. Can't have nobody thank you for blocking so much. I really appreciate it.
And then I'm gonna bring you guys around before my battery dies. And then that way you'll at least be able to see the table. All right, so that's the caddy, guys. So that is where I keep the majority of the products. So as people buy from the table, I just continue to restock. And everything is organized in a way where I know that that's lavender tranquility, activated charcoal, chamomile tea, cucumber melon, um, peppermint patty, or poetically peppermint, um, some activated charcoal there. Triple butter blend has its own row, and then the activated charcoal has its own row as well. I keep extra copies of the book so that when we come around to this side, that's what we've got. So there's, it, it looks like there's an array of products, but there is my um, logo on the front. Then there is, oh, that's not open. I gotta open this one. Then that's the sniffing station, right? So you can smell everything that we've got. And then there's the body butters right there. There's also the coconut vibranium and all of that. I actually kind of want to move this over because it's kind of blocked. I mean, that looks a little cluttered right there. Um, I'll figure out a better way for where to put this in a second. Um, so these are like the best selling products that I really want people's attention to focus on. So I have those front and center. Then here are the um, body extra awesome things so not a bar soap so if somebody says i don't use bar soap well we do have a foaming soap which is great for shaving we also have a body butter that is truly moisturizing it has vitamin e in here um it has sweet almond oil avocado i don't <laughs> you love the purple soap that's the lavender tranquility right there and then i just have the additional sugar scrubs right over here and i only do one dang it i gotta figure out why that's doing that i only do one scent of the sugar scrub while i am at events because my main focus is the soap of course so i gotta go because i gotta finish up on that table over there um which is going to be where people are able to pay i can give them additional information about the workshops and all of that so i am zakia and of course my card thing then fell again i have to get that out of the direct line uh, um, go girl um, I have to get that out of the direct line of when because it keeps knocking it over and I got a problem with that alright guys thank you flourishing soul for sharing on twitter and inviting your followers I'm going to set you up on here so that I can say bye to everyone and I can actually do what I'm supposed to do while I am here but hopefully if you are somebody who is Considering setting up at vending events, you got an idea that it's not so hard, it's not that difficult. And of course, I do bring a stool so that it's not so inviting for me to sit on and all of that. But have a great day. Look at that, there's a stain up there. Gotta clean it. Bye guys.